Chemical equilibrium experiment experimental method add 2 milliliters of distilled water to the test tube. Then slowly add sodium chloride salt into the test tube bit by bit. Shake to see if there is more dissolution. When the salt begins to become insoluble and there are remaining salt crystals that do not dissolve add a little more salt. Then put a test tube filled with sodium chloride solution into a hot water bath for about 3 minutes to increase the dissolved salt into a supersaturated solution. Finally, concentrated hydrochloric acid was added to the supersaturated sodium chloride solution. Observe the experimental results obtained. What was the result of the experiment? From now on, observe the experimental results. Gradually, we will begin to drip in concentrated hydrochloric acid. From observing the experimental results, we found that when concentrated hydrochloric acid was dropped, white sodium chloride salt crystals will begin to precipitate out like snowflakes, very beautiful. So why are the results like this? Are you all wondering? We will explain it to you. Hydrochloric acid is partially water-based and may increase the volume of the solution. However, concentrated hydrochloric acid has a concentration of 12 molars. This means that the concentration of chloride ions is also equal to 12 molars. From the experimental results, according to Ler Shattery's principle, a saturated sodium chloride solution will normally have a concentration of 5.4 molars, that is, chloride. An ion will have a concentration of 5.4 molar and a sodium ion will have a concentration of 5.4 molar. Therefore, when adding acid hydrochloric at 12 molar concentration will increase the chloride ion content in the system, disturbing the chemical balance of the reaction, that is, it increases the concentration of the reactants, causing the solubility equilibrium constant case of sodium ions and chloride ions to be greater than the solubility equilibrium constant of sodium chloride. Crystallization of sodium chloride is formed. The conclusion of the experiment was that the addition of concentrated hydrochloric acid increased the amount of the reactant, causing the balance of the system to be disturbed the system will adjust to a new equilibrium. To reduce the concentration of added reactants, substances will react more, this results in an increase in forward reactions, therefore, more product substances are obtained. It is called that the balance shifts to the right side of the equation,